Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, a.k.a. Redbeard. Uh, today is April Fool's Day, April 1st. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and let you know. I'm going to upload a couple videos that I took from Cabo, maybe some pictures, so y'all can kind of see what we did. Just some, just a short video, maybe five to eight minutes. Uh, I'll upload that here once I get it edited and edited, edited, edited and spliced together with pictures and video. So, uh, but before that, I'm going to go ahead and review this Coila unpeated Isla single malt, 18 year old. But before that, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know I've got, I picked up a little gift pack. It's got six different, uh, Mexican liquors. I believe there's, there's like, uh, a couple mezcal, some regular tequila, some white, anejo, reposado, and there was one that's like a liqueur, it's a great liqueur. I'm going to do a review over those, there's six of them in there. Uh, also, uh, from one of uh, my subscribers, whose channel is known as Dean D, D-E-A-N, space D, Dean D sent me four samples. He asked if he could send me some stuff to review, and I'm looking forward to reviewing it. Uh, four whiskeys that I've never had. Uh, one is a Japanese whiskey. It's I believe it's pronounced Yame Eight Goddesses Ten Year Whiskey. Ten Year uh, Smooth Ambler Contradiction. Jefferson's Ocean Cast Strength. Uh, and Legig Legig. I think that's pronounced correctly. Legic 10 year old. So I got four new whiskeys, six new Mexican li liquors, uh, and one liqueur, five liquors and one liqueur. So those will be coming in the future. But I'm going to go ahead and hop on this Coila Unpeated, continue on with the Isla single malts. And uh, cheers. Oh, yeah, this smells. What does that smell? This almost... What does that remind me of? Man. I'm going to think about it. The, this, the nose on this thing is reminiscent of something that I've had in the past. And it's oddly... It's, it's either... A, it's like a mix of Irish and bourbon. The nose is. Well, that one was all. When you when you swirl it up a little bit, you 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 kind of knock the particles around, so it opens up some flavors. But the nose is very bourbony. It's got that the time spent in the barrel, 18 years. Yeah, it's got those barrel notes. So, this one is bottled at 59.8%. I should have remembered that before I took such a, a strong sip. It's got that, it's got that waxy finish, like quite a few unpeated single malt scotches have. I would say like, uh, this is very similar to uh, like the, the Balvini double wood. Um, I'd say it's closer to the 17 year old obviously in age it's 18 year old but it's a uh, it's a bigger powerhouse yeah this one is oddly reminiscent of that Balvini 17 year old double wood uh, but there's just so much more power to it because it's almost 120 proof 59.8 percent like I'm not so the nose on that one's all like wood notes barrel notes I'm not really sure what it says it's aged in okay unpeated coila 
This is the oldest unpeated Coila ever bought and it was matured in refill American oak casks. It has a style as clean and fresh as the pale sky that follows. Come here. Come here. Hey everybody, look at his back. It's Bonnie. Did you miss me while I was gone, Bonnie? She's like, no, I didn't. I had Brandon here to look after me. So, unfortunately, I mean, this is a this is a really good this is a really good single ball. Um, unfortunately, what I I think. I haven't had too many of the peated Coilas. I don't think I've ever had any peated Coila. Maybe once. I just don't remember. Um, I personally think it loses a lot. Loses a lot of its character without the peat. Like right now, as it sits, not too much going on other than like some spice, barrel notes, and that waxy finish that you get from a lot of single malts, like the soapy, waxy type finish. And what I what I fear is that some of these uh, single malts lose a lot of their flavor when they stay in the barrel so long. What are you doing? So on that last one, it's feeding time. That's why she's acting this way. Come here. Um, so I got a, I got a bit of apple on that last one, but as far as the the tasting notes, and I haven't had anything to drink, haven't had anything to smoke today. My palate is clean. I haven't had anything to eat in three three and a half hours and nothing but water to drink so I have a pretty f fresh palate it's just there's nothing really jumping out at me it's and I, I hate to say it but it's I mean it's a good whiskey I just don't know if it's worth the price point and I'd love to find a 18 year old or something I know there's a we have a 12 year old peated Coila locally I'd like to try it out just to see what it's missing but I think this is this is, a, this is about par for like that Balvenie 17 double wood. Um, in my opinion, it's about an 8.5, 8.4. It's just, it's lacking something. And I believe it's the peat. So it's, right now this tastes like a an old Speyside is what it tastes like. And I'm just not that big of a fan of Speysides. So it's very light, very crisp. Um, it's clean in, in its flavoring, but it's just not for me. I think I'm gonna have to go 8.4. So it was a limited edition. I'm glad I got to try it and buy it whenever I had the money and the opportunity, but uh, I probably would not purchase it again for the same price point. Mm -hmm. But if you're a fan, if you are a fan of the Balvany or, maybe even open um, something along those lines in between that line this would probably be right up your alley and probably be a good pick I don't want to say it was around 120 to 130 dollars but I mean it's decent especially for uh, the age and the alcohol it would be a good buy if that's your area that you like so Take it for what it's worth. I'm gonna go 8.4. Uh, yeah. So, hey, win some, you lose some. But stay tuned. Check out the bearded idiots. Always, we got merch, t-shirts, hats, uh, stickers, posters. Um, now that I'm back from Mexico, I'm gonna try to start working on my own line of merch for my whiskey tasting channel. Maybe have like a giant red beard on it, um, and so on and so forth. 
And I might have to, uh, looking at you, Dean, might have to reuse some of these bottles whenever I'm done with it. Send a little extra with a t-shirt. Get my drift. So, uh, yeah, but like always, folks, drink some whiskey, share with your friends and family. Have a nice day. Take care.